here in the Philippines for our main event. 12 rounds among highly competitive flyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. The opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much-anticipated fight. Round one underway. Up and down, side to side. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Halfway through this round. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Chico's punch is far off the target. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. He just missed that shot up top. Last 10 seconds of this first oh, round. Keep your feet moving. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there. Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten them up. Here we go. Round two is underway. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Gets rid of that body shot. She goes damaged by a right hand. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Work the body! Well off the mark by Chico. <laughs> Hands up. Hands up. 
just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. So end of the round, a round in which he was able to get to his man there, stunned him there. He's kind of got momentum now, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, he does. And you know he's going to want to build on it. He doesn't want to get reckless, careless, but he's want to keep it going that way. Listen to me. I need you to keep busy, all right? I need more than one punch now. This fight is even, so I need to see more than one punch out there. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Chico's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with, because if he does, I think it's over. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. <laughs> Unable to score with the hook. Chico's blocking ability is doing well for him there. I don't want to criticize. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Body shot, body shot. Chico's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And that's the end of round three. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just need you to focus. Okay. Now keep boxing. You're doing great. You're making it hard for him to hit you. Chico's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Just grabbing on to his opponent. Doing great. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. And he returns on that exchange. Chico's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Chico's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. And
and now he's targeting upstairs. Let it go. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. And that's the end of round four. Chico's commitment to just pure offense is lacking right now. I mean, the guy has to let the hands go. Well, he was hurt earlier. You know, there was a little short punch on the inside around before, and nobody really noticed it. But guess what? He did. And I think that's why you're seeing him be a little bit unsure of himself and not throwing the punches that otherwise you'd say, hey, come on, how come you're not? That is why. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. And he just holds on there. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. A solid left hand by Chico. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. He did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Coming to the end of round number five. Last ten seconds. And round five comes to an end. Chico's got to find a way to take what he just did in that last round and keep that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight, very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way, but you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight. And keep pushing, keep pushing right there. Stay responsible, stay within yourself, but keep pushing. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Left and right, left and right. He missed that uppercut. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Chico's punch didn't come close. Able to dismiss that body shot. Chico's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Halfway through this round here. Pace yourself.
off the target by Chico. Pace yourself. Good left hand able to land. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Let those hands go, all right? Let them go. This is the time. We need to outpunch this fucking guy. So we've reached the halfway point of this main event. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Missed the body shot. Oh, a big Keep shot, running. a big shot comes home for him. And he walked right into it. Halfway through the seventh round. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the head shot. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. You're okay. Stay with me here. That straight right, unable to connect. Headshot lands, was a hook. That's a good block by Chico. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And we come to the end of the round. Keep circling away from that power there. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Just keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. Nice round. That was good. Keep that up and we have this one. There you go. Nice one. Chico's done a good job of pacing himself tonight. And because of that, now he's in prime position. We start round eight here. He already has a slight lead on your scorecard. Yeah, he does. And now he can start kicking it into third gear. You know, start really taking control here. Keep moving. Nice work oh, with the overhand up, right. Chico's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Carries that punch away. Punch! Punch! Able to show you his blocking ability. 
Chico's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Now hugging on the inside. Not what he was looking for. That's a Keep miss right the there by Chico. Relax, relax. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Uppercut. Not able to land the headshot. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Walk counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the take. Yeah, whoever finishes up strongly in their late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was and whoever grabs the last part of the round that's who you remember it's very important in this kind of fight finish up good at the end of the round right more than one punch out there more than one we're in a fight now both punches you got me we're in a fight back to action here at the start of this round which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight one of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Nice block by Chico. Chico's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're a linebacker in football. You go down the line with that running back. You don't go following him around the place. You make sure you move laterally. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's got to cut that ring down, take space away. Chico's showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. In and out. Final chance. Chico's banged up by a left hand. Come on. Let's go. What are you waiting? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. Here you go. Not too much. All right, listen, you need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch, then throw a straight right down in the middle. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Not much action as he just ties up. Give me to get that head Focus. Chico's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Yeah. 
Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Get in there! Chico's showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Side to side. And he's holding. to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. Three minutes gone by in this round. Fight, jab, and move. You have to start doubling that jab. Don't stop. Don't stop. You've got to keep working. We got it. You can get ahead, but you gotta keep working. All right. So he's tired. He's got nothing left. Just go for the head. Here we are, ten rounds in. Chico's been taking more damage than his opponent, but on your scorecard, Teddy, it's an even fight. How do you see this playing out for him? Well, I see it like what you just touched on. You know, he's. Been winning a lot of battles lately, but do those battles cost him the war? That's what we're gonna see now. What is left in the bunker? Work the body! Nice block by Chico. Hey, 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 let's go! Halfway through this eleventh round. up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. You see him holding on. Well off the mark by Chico. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Able to place the right hand in there. And round 11 comes to an end. Chico's still got a great chance to win this fight, regardless of what you just saw in that last round. I mean, conventional wisdom down here is that it's a close competitive fight that he's trailing on the scorecards. But you can tell this fight can turn at any moment. Yeah, it's very close. I think right now, you gotta be the guy, it's kinda like an argument. You get into an argument with someone, you wanna have the last word. Whoever throws the last punches, you know, one guy throws three, you come back with four. Whoever's the last one to throw, he's gonna win. Here it is, the final round of what has been a closely contested battle. Chico's in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, 
but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said. And it's just, it's not, it's not making the picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Let it go! Here we go, last 60 seconds one. of the fight. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. Chico's killing me watching him here. I mean, he doesn't need a 20 by 20 ring. They could fight this thing in like a phone booth here. Now he looks like one of those cars you see on the side of the road where they removed all the tires, all the wheels. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. That was a highly competitive back and forth bout. Now let's hear which way it went. your winner two judges overcoming the one who saw the draw just not much to separate these two all night long so a majority decision goes in his favor it was a good one indeed and for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us we'll see you next time at the fights